All right, guys. It's time to do some organizing. Thanks, Zara. No, but I need to do some organizing. I do. Isn't it good to have friends in your life who stand big for you, call you on your shit? Like, I have a friend, she does not let me be unorganized. I mean, I'm totally unorganized right now, but she's like, oh, it's on me. So, this one's for you, boo. But yeah, I'm just trying to, <laughs> this is my, um, one of my bookshelves. I have another one over there with a lot of different books in it as well. But this is just one of them. And um, I'm not necessarily, I don't know. Actually, I don't know where life is going to take me over the next 5, 10, or 15 minutes. But <laughs> my goal is to make some um, sense of this. Because when I'm in, like, when I'm in the zone, like, when I'm in the zone of, you know, working a business and actually getting that business to turn a dollar, like, when I'm in that zone, I have to... Um, I have to have clarity, you know what I mean? Like I have to, my hair's all falling down. I have to have clarity, you know what I'm saying? I have to um, have a place, I have to be in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, an immediate world where there's really no clutter so that when I'm thinking and everything, it's just, it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if any of you guys are like that, but that's how I am. And right now with the new year coming and it being the holidays and everything, I really want to get ahead of the year instead of starting the year in the rear. You know what I'm saying? All right. So the reason why I'm trying to get everything so organized is because um, nothing can really grow from chaos. You know what I'm saying? Like if everything's all cluttered and messy, um, your brain, that's in your head, you know what I'm saying? And your environment is in your head. So that when they say you are, um, they sometimes say you're not a product of your environment or you're a product, I don't know how it goes, but you definitely are a product of whatever you are surrounding yourself um, during that time or what you are constantly in contact with, right? So nothing can grow from chaos. Think of it like this. In order for anything to grow in a pot of soil, it, it can't grow from chaos, meaning it can't have all these other different elements to make it grow. The only thing that's going to make that, that plant grow is sunlight, soil, and water. Like, that is it. You can't put in a whole bunch of other junk and, and, and substitute that junk for what they actually need, which is like the water. You can't substitute water for sand. You can't substitute sunlight for toothpicks. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you have to keep the natural ingredients in order for it to grow. So it has to, it cannot grow from chaos. So if you, if your mentality because everything is all junky. Like you may think like, oh, I have all this information. I have all this information um, in my head. But if it's not compartmentalized visually on the t out here in the tangible world, then in here it's going to get lost. Um, so you might have these great ideas for like for myself. I have all these great ideas and all these good concepts and all this and that. And then I think I'm storing it in my brain. And although our brains are very magnificent, I can't wait for the day for us to really unlock and learn how to really use these things and side of these goals we carry around but um for now i know that my brain cannot um retain all of the information that i wanted to but my computers can my phone can all of those things so i'm going to utilize technology to help me stay in front of me you know what i'm saying because i know i can get a little bit out of hand imagine that <laughs> i was kidding <laughs> i'm not kidding but i'm kidding Okay. Uh, there's seven different kinds of crowdfunding. There's business, inventions, plays, books, anything. What? Okay. All right. So I am <laughs> getting through it, guys. I'm getting through this. I am getting through this. Okay. So anyway, like I just picked up this notebook. I'm clean. Look, look, see, look. You saw me tear all that off. Like, I don't need that anymore. So this is a good notebook now. So now I'm looking through this 
because when I go places like networking events or whatever and I write down stuff and I'm like oh like I said I'm gonna meet up with you this and that and I misplace it so now I find this let me see like who are these people <laughs> Interesting. I'm getting sidetracked all day. And then I'm getting sidetracked. All right. I think. All right. What I got, which is most important. Taking it off. And then now we got a new notebook. <laughs> and then this. Actually, this might be a fucking gold mine. Wait, when is this from? Do I have two of these? I think I have another one in the car. This is a fucking gold mine because these are... Yes. Gold, bitch. Yes. Anyway. Thing because this is... <laughs> this is um my kid's... um. Like when they give me stuff or whatever. But this is in here. Look at this. Look at this shit. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? <laughs> mm. This thing right here, this spinner, you know, when they were all the craze, you know, or, you know, spinners were entering the house. I we never ever, we never ever purchased a spinner for our kids but our kids do have spinners not like they stole the spinners but just spinners were just being given and everything so we never bought them a spinner and at first I was like that is so dumb but then I learned that it was for therapeutic purposes you know what I'm saying so then one day I picked this one up and I was like I think I had an attitude or some shit because I'm a period or some shit and I was just like like that shit feel good it's crazy it's crazy so anyway I went and bought myself the other day I went and bought myself my own spinner it was tight was because I don't know where it is and I'm mad about it it was my favorite color my hot magenta chrome it didn't have just these three little round things oh my god it was so cute it had like a whole bunch of nice ones like little uh, it was like a not like a pinwheel but kind of like if you're steering a, a a ship it was like that and, it, and like inside of these little holes had these little ball bearings Ugh, i'm so mad i don't know where it is and it was like it i only had it i only I only fucking had that shit for like maybe six hours of my life before it came up missing and the crazy thing is my kids were like on it they, they was on it they were like oh let me get a spin and i was like no it's my spinner and they're like mom you're being selfish and i'm like okay so i started letting them spin my shit and the next thing you know i don't know where it's at and that upsets me but <laughs> All right, so for the most part, that part was easy. Yes, okay. All right, so this is called Making a Life, Reclaiming Your Purpose and Passion in Business and Life. Hmm. Making a living. Making a life, yes, making a living. Reclaiming your purpose and passion in business and life. You know, see, look, I'm addicted to books like this so that's why I buy books like this all the time because they are speaking my same language like I write all the time and I write and I write and then when I see like other people who are in alignment with me I'm like I have to buy this book you should always educate yourself on all aspects of life you really should it's awesome I mean besides all of that the human brain I mean we're data processors all we ever want to do is suck up data some of us like to read, some of us like to listen to music, and some of us like to watch TV, you know? But it's all processing data day in and day out. We always want information. We're hungry for it. So, um, you know, with that being said, the business of 
giving information, it's big business. That business has been along, around since like psh, the day of the day when old boy wrote all the Ten Commandments on that big stone tablet. I mean, that was content, still is. I'm pretty sure that content today can sell all kinds of stuff. Everything is content, people. Stay with me, okay? Please. So if there's something that you really love to do, you're not the only one who likes to do it. And if you talk about it enough, those people who like to do it will gravitate and want to see what you got going on. Like this book. They think like me. It's my family right here. I feel like I'm connected just based off the title alone. I'm going to get this book. That's why I bought it so connected to it. I'm like, oh my God, that is so me. And you buy the book. So if you have something that you like to do, um, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Cleaning, like doing your car or like painting your fingernails or something that you know how to do. That's really awesome. And you want to share that with someone else, with someone else. And you know, cause they're going to like it too. Then you do that. And, um, other people will look at it and they want to read it. Okay. But are they going to be necessarily going to buy your blog like because you're talking about it? No, not necessarily. But I'm going to get to that, though. I'm going to get to that real quick right now. I'll do it right now. If it's interesting enough and you get readers all the time, you can position something that they might like and they may buy. So you are able to turn your passion about whatever it is into money. So it's like this, like I love music or I love singing. I can't sing great, well or good, but whatever the case, I really like it. So with that being said, I have a love for music. So if I want to, like every time um, an album drops or whatever, and I really like that album, like what if I did a review on each and every song? Like, okay, so on XYZ album, first track, I think they're coming from this, you know, like just a conversation about it. Then other people who like music will be like, oh my God, yeah, I feel like that too. And then maybe in the bottom of the link, they can go buy whosoever album or CD or whatever that I'm talking about. And in return, I get a percentage. Come on, stay with me, okay? You don't understand. I say it all the time, there are the viewers and the doers. And although we need both, I just wanna be, because there's the viewers and the doers, okay? There's the viewers and the doers. The viewers and the doers. But then you have the, your circle right here where you have viewers and doers. That's me. It's like I, I am doing stuff all the time, but I'm also learning all the time. OK, so I'm in that circle. Then you have your 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 doers who was over there. I don't remember. I just they keep moving around. Be still. But then you have your you know, you have your doers who are out there doing and making and creating so that we have the cars to drive, the food to eat, the places to go. Like these are people who are doing and creating all of this magnificent stuff for us. Right. But then, you know, there are the viewers who just sit and watch everything. They're like, oh my God, I'm her biggest fan. Oh my God, I love him. Oh my God, oh look at him. Look at the way he shoots that three-pointer. Oh my God, he's such a basketball player. It's great to think great things about great people. It's fantastic. But don't lose sight of yourself. You're pretty awesome too. And I'm pretty sure you have some talents. Might not be free, you know, flawless free throws or ice skating twirls. I don't know why I went there with it, but it might not be that, but it could be something. It could be something. So don't just get caught up in everyone else's success. It's blinding. It really is. I have blank. Oh, oh, oh. But you know what I'm saying? Don't forget about you. Back to this. Okay. So anyway, making a life, reclaiming your purpose and passion in business and in life, making a living by Mark Albion. Mm, mm, mm. What's the back say? No, that's not good. Let me see. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm just, I was trying to see if there was any introductions or anything I could share. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Me like it. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I, you know how it is when you get to looking at stuff? You get sidetracked. Okay. Now look, this is something I should have out in the open. <laughs> no, that's the Don't judge me. This is something I should have out in the open because meditation is very important. And this is a meditation kit. So what's inside? The meditation kit, seven, con let me see, seven, there's seven contemplation cards, a music CD, an illustrated guidebook. This is by Amy Zerner and Monte Farber, authors of Karma Cards, The Enchanted Tarot, and The Psychic Circle. So anyway, they have these. So we have, what is in here? Balance, bring balance to your mind, body, and spirit. So what's in here? So there's these different cards. So you read the different, so you pick a card or whatever. So this one is green. It says, so nice. I soothe and comfort you because I am the healer. Relax now into the balance. We are all connected naturally with grace. I grow through compassion. Now look at that. There's a lot of different ones in here and you just, that brings you peace, you know? So you, you, you reflect on that. This is their introduction. Well, okay, I'll read you one more paragraph. I don't know. I just want to just let me share this, that, this paragraph with you. Many of the positive changes you desire can come about because the complete set of meditation tools and gentle rituals we have included with your chakra meditation kit are all you need to bring balance to your chakra energies and expand your conscious awareness to the point where you enter the flow. Yes, I want to get into the flow. Yeah, get me in the flow. Yes, okay state of harmonious relaxed concentration this is the state of heightened awareness cited as the source of their expertise by master craftspeople artists athletes and ventures philosophers and ordinary people who also do extraordinary things and manifest it all day all day Okay, one more paragraph and then we're gonna close it look at something else, but I'm like, I'm into it now. And these increasingly hectic and volatile times, it is hard enough to find the time and energy to do what you have to do to get through the day, let alone to feel the flow. Okay, <laughs> give me some of that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. <laughs> fill in the flow state and produce extraordinary results. Most people are too busy and stressed to do things they know they should be doing. Mm -hmm. Even if it is for their greater good and highest joy. That is why we have created our chakra meditation kit to be as fun and as easy to use as it is powerful and effective in its results. Now everyone can use its guided meditation techniques like we do each and every day. They are quick enough to be blended into even the busiest of schedules. Okay, that's what I'm gonna start doing. Please believe it because uh-uh, life, I do get like that sometimes, you know? <laughs>